Hi, I'm Marcy Morrison. I'm here today to talk about my upcoming book, Finding Your Passion, An Easy Guide to Your Career Success. And I'm really happy to be here with Joe Sweeney, who's highlighted in my book, who has a wonderful journey about success. He has 30 years of work experience. And Joe has a, a unique definition of success, one that's just not about his career, but is a multifaceted approach to how he defines success. Joe, can you just give us a few highlights of how you define success and a couple of successes in your life? Well, I think, uh, I think when you really look at success, number one, I, I think you need to identify what your passions are, which is a big part of your book and what you're, you're trying to communicate to people. But I think once you identify what your passions are, and then figuring out a game plan to execute your passions. I've been very passionate about the business world and the sports world. And for the last 30 years, I've really played in both arenas and I've really enjoyed it and had a lot of fun. But I think if I really look at my life, what I'm most proud about is I feel at this point I've raised four well-adjusted young adults. And I think unless you actually go through the process of raising children, you really don't understand how much work and how much focus it takes. So, I think what I feel really good about is I've been able to balance uh, a professional career along with spending an awful lot of time with my kids. That's great. And Joe shares a lot of the details of how he did that in the book. But one thing that really stood out to me while Joe and I talked about his story was the fact that success often is not always easy. A lot of times your success comes from having some dark moments and some challenges. So. What impressed me the most is how Joe has risen above that, and, and what were the techniques that you used when you hit those walls and maybe some dark moments? Well, I think, first of all, Marcy, that's a good question. I think uh, many times we look at people in business and in the sports world, or whatever worlds we're in, is they start a career and they have instant success. But I think if you really delve into what people do, they have ups and downs, and it's really a journey of highs and lows. And the key is, how do you balance those? I think one of the things that I've always felt is every success I've had in business, I've realized that success is really temporary, and I think humility is something you have forever. And I think if you look at what's going on in the last year, a lot of American people in the business world and in the investment field have really been humble, which I think is really a, a timely thing for your book to, to help people find their passions and identify what it is they want to do. I think this, the, the other thing that's really helped me through this is to build a strong support network. I think if you look at American business today, and even with your business, I think a lot of people who are in business are very lonely people. They go through a lot of emotional stress, financial stress, and they really don't have things to bounce things off of. And so when you have problems, I think it's important to develop a strong support network that can help you navigate through these highs and lows of business. Uh, about 20 years ago, I started my own sort of board of directors, my personal board, to, if nothing else, give me perspective of all the adventures that I would be embarking on, just to see if I'm on the right course. So I've developed 12 very good friends that I call my 12 apostles, and I probably talk to three to five of my 12 apostles every single day. They're personal friends, they're business associates, and they have really helped me navigate through the ups and downs of business. That's fantastic. Uh, I was recently asked what was the number one reason that people fail in achieving and reaching their dreams, and I said a support team. So it's really important that you read the book and uh, uh, listen to Joe's secret of how to really build that support team and how to best utilize them. Joe, um, since we're reaching the end of our interview here, is there one last tip or secret that you want to share? for the people that are watching this that are want to know your secrets to success? Well, I have I have several I'd like to share, but I think I can just say one thing to people seeing this this video in order to, to get that message. Buy the book. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. All right. Thanks, Marcy.